deliver those families higher incomes. Question number three, the Honourable John Biscarn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Finance and asks, how much money would a capital gains tax raise in each year for the next five years? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, a, a, a capital gains tax won't raise money for each of the next five years because, given its complexity, it probably can't start until 1 April 2014. Uh, based on Treasury's modelling, a 15 per cent capital gains tax that does not apply to existing assets would raise about $1.3 billion in total over five financial years. If the policy is applied to assets people already own, it might raise about $2.3 billion in total over five financial years, that is by 2019. The Honourable John Biscarn. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister of Finance. How does the revenue of a capital gains tax compare to the cost of spending promises that have been bandied about, such as making the first $5,000 of income tax-free, removing GST from fresh fruit and vegetables, and restoring the research and development tax credits? Point of order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr Speaker, how does one hypothetical thing uh, compare to something for which the Minister has no responsibility can't possibly be a valid question. I was, I was thinking along very similar lines. The only thing that stopped me from interrupting the member, he didn't, he didn't attribute policies to any particular party. And, and so long as the Minister in answering doesn't attribute policies to any other party, I'm prepared to to let it go, but the Minister just heard what I've said there, that he's not responsible for any other party's policies, but he can comment on, on hypothetical situations regarding policies so long as he doesn't attribute them to another political party. The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, uh, I understand that a $5,000 tax-free threshold would cost about $1.3 billion a year, uh, and that's just one of the promises, one of the policies the member listed and, but if we just stick to that one, a uh, 15 per cent capital gains tax would cover the cost of that particular policy in 20, 20, by 2024. Uh, in the uh, years up to then, the um, 12 years up to then, uh, the CGT would not cover the cost of just that policy, let alone the others. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, Mr Speaker, can I ask Order. the Minister, does he stand by this statement? That's interesting, just an observation, and I'll get your view on this. That Mr Speaker, the statement was the right thing to do would be to have a comprehensive capital gains tax. That was said by Bill English this week. The Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker, I was referring to the fact that, that any, number of, any number of people who are putting forward a theoretically ideal tax position advocate a comprehensive capital gains tax. No one in New Zealand has, uh, even the Labor Party hasn't indicated that that's what they're going to do. And in any case, more taxing and more spending will grow the government, but it will be bad for the economy. The Honourable John Biscowan. Thank, thank you, Mr Speaker. Supplementary to the Minister. Does he agree that the real problem is politicians promising to spend money they haven't got and inventing new taxes to pay for their promises? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, well, Mr Speaker, that might be a problem. I think the real issues for the economy, the real issues for the economy are to get... Uh, our people and our capital into productive investment, and the government has, over the last three budgets, taken some very big strides to improve the prospect that New Zealanders can have higher incomes. And we've done that by controlling spending and reducing taxes, because increasing spending and increasing taxes got us into this trouble in the first place. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. When he said. Order. Order, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. When the Minister said the right thing to do would be to have a comprehensive capital gains tax, did he mean that he thinks that tax should be introduced taxing the family home? 
The Honourable Bill English. Uh, no, Mr. Speaker. And as the member, the member's up to his usual tricks. As I said before, as I said before, uh, the, o, the well, the Labor, Labor Party have quoted the IMF and the OECD uh, and the Treasury, and they have, when they advocate a CGT, they mean a comprehensive capital gains tax on all assets. And I understand uh, that no one in New Zealand is advocating actually doing that. Question number four, the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Prime well, Minister. Uh, I'd say to the members, own front page colleagues, I want to hear the Honourable Clayton Cosgrove. Well, they were good interjections, though, sir. Uh, my question is to the Prime Minister, sir, and asks, further to his answer to oral question number 10 yesterday, what evidence does he have for disagreeing with Treasury's finding that, quote, significant participation by foreign investors will be essential to achieve the government's overall objectives, unquote, if the government's privatisation plan goes ahead?